Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm used to the I'm the one used to asking the questions. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Curtis. Sorry, my name is Curtis. Okay. The, the T is usually silence. Curtis. Okay. Curtis. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm a husband, mm-hmm. a father, an artist, an educator, and a content creator. Exactly in that order. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Fine, oh. thank you. Introduce yourself. My name is Soila. Soila K S. I'm a mom, mm-hmm. a wife, and a content creator as well as a speaker. Mm-hmm. And today, till day, we are writing a love letter. Today, I'm doing something special. Yeah. Something that I did a lot in campus. Yeah. It's been a while since I did it. Yeah. I hope I still have the game. Okay. Today, I'm writing a love letter. You know, car is. This mm-hmm. is probably the longest I've seen someone. <laughs> 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 like I love it. I'm so used to people just saying and we're writing a love letter. Mm-hmm. But you had to give us some preface. So yeah. welcome to a love letter couples yeah. edition. Yeah. Describe to us how you and your kindred spirit lover mm-hmm. wife met. So how we met. I know she'll come here after me, but <laughs> let me assure you. Yes. My story is the accurate version. Okay. Okay. Her story has more details. All right. But details doesn't necessarily mean accuracy. So mine is the accurate version. Bombastic. Okay. Fine. I, yes. <laughs> so we met in campus. Mm-hmm. I was in my final year. She was in her first year. Now in this at that time there was this thing that communication students used to do where they have to shoot a film. They have yeah. to create a film. And I, w- I just happened to be one of the actors. You know, it was about this couple that was getting married and I was the best man to the to the guy. Okay. So so Ella sees that sees that she was uh she was fresh. She was a fresher. Mm-hmm. Freshers were just called to come and become extras. So yeah. she was just <laughs> supposed to come and feel the pews. Okay. So she was just supposed to clap when it's time to clap. Oh, cheer skin. when it's time to cheer. Yeah. So I'm the one who she saw me first. Uh, now she doesn't like to admit. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like to admit that she saw me, but she had been wanting me after seeing hey, me. Jehovah. Yeah. <laughs> according to her version of the story says she saw me and then she forgot about it. But she had been wanting me. Okay. And then a time came when I saw her later. Uh-huh. Now when I saw her, her, she wasn't seeing me. So okay. it's like she saw me, uh-huh. uh, that moment ended, and then a time came and I saw her. And when I was seeing her, she was not seeing me. You get it. Welcome, so let's see the set of a love letter couple. Thank edition. you. We just had from Carl uh-huh. So let's hear from you. How did you and Carl meet? So we met in this university. Okay. I was a fresher. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was a fourth year student. He was about to leave campus. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know what, I'm not going to leave this university mm-hmm. with just a degree. Mm. Uh-huh. I does, I can as well come out with uh, a woman, yeah. you know. Mm. Um, and for me, so I met him at a set. It was during the shooting a uh, certain particular unit that comms students normally do, communication students. Um, so he was a fourth year. He was a groom's best man. Okay. And then since we were freshers, we were all like, we're actually coming from lunch. Yeah. And then some students are like, you know what, guys, we have a shoot. We're going to give you guys snacks and sodas. Mm. Please come mm-hmm. and be our extras. So we're just called to be an audience to just fill up the, the wedding. Pews. Yes, mm-hmm. the pews. <clears throat> and I see a young man going down the aisle, you mm. know. And I was like, hmm, interesting. He had a raggedy hair. <laughs> hair, he was, we- I think they were wearing gray suits. I even remember. I think yeah. it was a gray suit. Yeah. And I'm like, interesting, and that was it. That was the last time I saw I just saw him, thought he was interesting, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Never seen him again mm-hmm. until um, a specific time. Mm-hmm. So her version of the story is right. Her version of the story is right. <laughs> okay. But uh-huh. in between that time where she saw me and then I saw her later, uh-huh. she had been secretly yearning okay. in her heart. Okay. Yeah. How can I get this guy? Yes. You no, know, he's a fourth year, he's about to leave. Yeah. But my heart is, you know. Yeah. So she has she had been pondering on that in her mm, heart. Okay. So it just happened that a few days uh, there was a concert. Mm-hmm. There was this uh, gospel rapper who had come. It was called Lacre. Mm-hmm. It was performing at uh, Mavuno mm-hmm. when it was still just here at Go Down mm-hmm. at uh, uh, what is that thing called Belavu. Mm-hmm. So the performance was going on, and I look in the crowd, and I'm like, okay, I'm not seeing anyone familiar. But I look across and I see, ah, see, this is the chick I noticed the other day. Mm. So I call her because I'm seeing she's alone. Her friends have deserted her and I'm there. So I'm like, come. And I could <laughs> see she's trying to see what the performances are going on 
uko mbele yeah. so i tell her come and i'm like just st- stick with me mm. stick with me I'll, i'll make your evening so she's like okay yeah so as people are jumping you know how concerts are yeah so performances are going people are jumping so every time people would jump would squeeze in and move forward okay they would jump again would squeeze in and move forward uh-huh. we did that until eventually we got to the rails okay and i was like yeah i, I got you, you, you know <laughs> so front row yeah so at least i know i was able to score some points yeah And uh, that's how we started. Wow. Yeah, that's how we started. It mm-hmm. became the foundation of a really good friendship. Mm-hmm. And a few months later on, we started dating. Went for a concert, a Lacrie concert. Mm-hmm. And then my s- my friend and I were um, literally close to the front, yeah. <coughs> Vicky. Mm-hmm. Then she decided to leave me and go to the VVIP area. Mm-hmm. <coughs> When she left, I was left alone. Yeah. So I looked around. I'm like, I'm the only Daystar student in here yeah. until I turned and then saw Curtis. Mm. Then when he, our eyes met, I was mm. like, come. And since I saw him at the wedding, it was yeah. easy for me to go. If I hadn't seen him at the wedding, yeah. I wouldn't have gone because I'm like, I don't know you, sir. Yeah. Where am I coming? And um, yeah, so went to where he was with his friend Brian. Brian used to have a bigger fro. Mm. And then from there, we just started chatting. Yeah. After that, I remember our conversation. Mm-hmm. Can't remember much about the... Um, concert now mm-hmm. I, i really don't know what happened now after that <laughs> yeah. i just remember our conversation yeah. when the concert was winding down yeah. people are now moving in and out mm. and then he asked me do you want anything yeah. i was like no i was starving yeah and i said no i'll just have water mm. i wasn't going to ask a man to buy me food the first mm. day yeah. you know mm. <laughs> <hear> you. yeah <laughs> She said, I'm a yes business. <laughs> and that's it is it have a conversation and then from there um, a beautiful friendship started yeah. yes we exchanged numbers went home mm-hmm. and that's it now what did you think of sailor when you first either saw her mm-hmm. or when you first met her when i first saw her i don't know why this came to my mind but when i first saw her i thought she was a very spoiled girl wow that is the that first is thing that came I to my mind going. <laughs> <laughs> i mean i saw her of course she was pretty and everything mm-hmm. but i i don't know why i just felt like this is a spoiled child What about her gave mm-hmm. spoiled? I don't know if it's how she dressed. Okay. I don't know. I can't explain it. Of okay. course I was wrong. She's yeah. not spoiled at all. Mm-hmm. But I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my mind. All right. But she had this sophisticated vibe. Mm. I think with her dressing and how she did things. I think that's what made me feel that way. Okay. Yeah. But I was wrong and I'm glad I was wrong. Okay. Yeah. I mean now you already told us what you thought of us or what you thought of him when you first met him or so yes which was interesting mm-hmm. expound what exactly do you think was interesting first of all he had raggedy hair okay uh, he was tall uh-huh. i think also his color yeah um very confident yeah. i think that's the thing that i noticed yeah. when he was walking down the aisle very confident yeah. um even with a girl that he was walking because you know you have these are bridesmaids and then mm. you mm. so it was really the confidence for me yeah and the color mm-hmm. and the hair Okay. Yeah. Now what do you think initially attracted you to Soila? So either this is the first time you mm-hmm. saw her, mm-hmm. when you met her, when you now started to interact with her. Yeah. What do you think it was your initial like, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, so I know there's the there's the politically correct answer, which is I fell in love with her character. Uh-huh. But there's the true answer. Uh-huh. Which character had nothing to do with it. Okay. I saw her and I liked how she looked. Okay. Yeah, she people call, people say my type. Uh. I feel like she was my type at the time. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, at the time. At the But time. <laughs> no, I <laughs> said that because <laughs> I say that because nowadays my mindset has changed. I don't really believe in types as much. Okay. I just believe that when two people come together and work things out, something beautiful can come out of it. Mm-hmm. Whether it's a type thing or not. Mm-hmm. But at the time mm. it was what attracted me to her. Yeah. I saw her, I liked how she looked and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, let me approach her and see what can come out of it. Okay. Yeah. Is there a particular <coughs> incident or memory that you recall that you knew at that moment in time you are kindred spirits or you would be kindred spirits? Yeah, so after we met that night at the concert, we started talking. Mm-hmm. And suddenly we started talking about marriage. Wow. We weren't even dating. Off the bat. Off the bat, just like that. And we okay. started talking about marriage. 
And then as we shared, I began to realize that, oh, we have the same values. Mm. We have the same expectations of what a marriage needs to look like. Okay. And I was like, okay. I wasn't keen on getting into a relationship because I was dealing with some things. Mm -hmm. You know, I just come from one that didn't end up so well. So okay. I was like, I have to sort this thing out first. Yeah. I was really afraid of getting into another rebound. Mm. So I was taking things intentionally slow. Yeah. But I noted, when you started talking about marriage, I noticed how we clicked on so many things, our mm -hmm. expectations, our mm -hmm. value systems, as far as that is concerned. Yeah. And that's when I started thinking, okay, maybe this, this could be someone who I would like to pursue something later on. Okay. So as you got to know Carl S, what do you think initially attracted you to him? His vulnerability okay. and his straightforwardness. Mm -hmm. like at his words he knew what he wanted yeah. and he did not mince his words mm -hmm. so he was very easy to talk to yeah. and very easy to reach to the depths of his heart yeah. in matters relationship family yeah. marriage and the like yeah so yes okay now is there an incident in time or a memory if you could pick mm -hmm. uh, that you knew for sure you have found your one mm, incident can't quite remember but i think the first date he made me dinner Really? Uh, yes, and he went all out, you what know, spaghetti and meatballs. Wow. And for a student, you know mm. what that means, yeah. you know, and there are <laughs> patterns. <laughs> Best, I know, yeah. you know, <laughs> they're always cutting costs. <laughs> you put on your God on Ramsey hat. <laughs> I was like, okay, he's very thoughtful. Yeah. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. and how he went all out. Yeah. I don't think in any of my past relationships, yeah. anyone has ever gone out to probably mm -hmm. make dinner. Mm -hmm. um, nice food, go all out, even in the setup. Mm -hmm. You know, there are petals. are like, sir, what's the plan here? Romance. <laughs> yes. I want to romance you. <laughs> And we love so yeah, that, that yeah. but majorly the conversations that you're having with him. Yeah. For sure, I knew, mm. I feel safe with this guy. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Lastly, I would like for you to share with us a timeline of mm -hmm. from the time you met mm -hmm. to till now. So we met in this year, we started yeah. dating at this time, we got married, da, 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 da. just like a proper timeline, briefly. Wow, that was 2011 December. Okay. 2011 December we started dating in March 2012. Okay. Started dating in March 2012. Yeah, 2012 became good friends. Ah, interesting. Yeah. She's just pointed something out. We started dating in March 13th. Mm -hmm. Which just happens uh, 10 years later to be our firstborn birthday. Wow. I actually never thought about that. That and was today interesting. Is the and today is March 13th. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we started dating on March 13th, 2012. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, became friends for a really long time. Uh, dated for around four years. Okay. Yeah. Got uh, proposed to her in December 2015. Mm -hmm. I started seeing the parents shortly after. Mm -hmm. And on August 2016th, mm -hmm. we were married. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Started the beautiful uh, season in our lives, mm -hmm. getting married, uh, trying to get kids in 2018, mm -hmm. going through about three different miscarriages in the same year, mm. you know, but we stuck together. Yeah. 2019, got pregnant again. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed that we don't lose it again. Mm. 2020, COVID. The day President Uhuru announced that COVID is in the country, yeah. our son is born. Mm. Wow. Yeah, so... What's your relationship so, with COVID? <laughs> yeah, COVID decided to visit us in 2021. So we also oh, got COVID damn. in 2021 mm -hmm. when she was pregnant with our second born. Oh, my skin. So it was a crazy, it was a crazy period. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the one time in my life I got really scared okay. because she couldn't breathe. You know, so Ella is one of those people who are using that, uh, you know, those things for spraying for mm. air. But I came to learn that later on because she said, if I tell Curtis right now about this thing, this guy is going to be scared and worried yeah. for the rest of the, you know. Yeah. So she never told me. She actually told me later on, you know, I used to wake up at night breathless because I couldn't breathe. And I was like, what? That was crazy. You know where we were. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She says I used to live a breathless. <laughs> We'll just but, add uh, the song. <laughs> but I think COVID did that mm. all by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not me. Me, I, I know when I left you breathless. <laughs> I wouldn't mention here. This is PG twenty one, eh? Yeah, <laughs> it's so. fine. Go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but we've had interesting seasons. I mean, just before we started the show, you're asking her about the scar she has here. Yeah. Yeah, she broke her arm when our son was six months old. Mm. Yeah, we were taking a photo, and you know how six month old babies, they don't sit steadily. Still, yeah. So you put them, and then five seconds later, they tip over. Mm. So the boy was about to do that, and so Ella ran because it was on the ground. Mm. <coughs> so Ella ran to catch, and see, she tripped, fell on her arm. Mm. And we thought she was exaggerating because we were a number of friends. Because mm. Ella can exaggerate, she'll get a headache, and you think she's dying. So we thought. <laughs> This is one of I those moments. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so she gets up and her hand has three bends. Because you see her hand has one, two. Has yeah. had a third one here. And we're and like, you still what? thought she was exaggerating. No, at that time we were okay. like, what right. the hell is happening? You yeah. know. So we took her, uh, rushed her to the hospital. Mm. Uh, she got fixed. But for the next one, two weeks to a month or so, she couldn't do a lot of things for herself. Yeah. So I would wash her, bathe mm. her, you know, uh, apply oil on her. She mm. was like my second baby at the time. Mm. Yeah, so those are some of the things we've gone through. Mm -hmm. uh, 2021 December, we got our second born child, mm -hmm. a beautiful girl, Imora. Mm -hmm. uh, Imora is a lower word. It means you make me happy. Wow. Yeah, you say Imora. Imora. You have to say it with that accent. If Imora. you say it in English, you spoil. Okay. Mm. So it is immoral. Right. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, here we are, 2024. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing, Carl. Yeah. Yes. That was, that was, for someone yeah. I was so worried there would be no details, you yeah. actually have given us I, quite I, the details. I got you. I got you. You yeah. <laughs> said, don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> 2015, mm -hmm. December. Yeah. Um, he proposed. Mm. Will it be my wife? Yeah. I say, of course, yes, sir. <laughs> you said you ain't gonna ask me twice. <laughs> uh, again, went all out to the proposal, which I really, I really like that he goes all out with mm. some of these things. His intentionality. Yeah. Then got married the following year, mm -hmm. August fifth mm -hmm. of twenty sixteen. Yeah. And then twenty sixteen started our lives together as a husband and wife. Mm. Went through rough seasons, rough mm. patches, yeah. um, but still stuck together. Yeah. And then 2018 started to try out family, mm -hmm. um, had its own bumps, yeah. uh, lost mis uh, pregnancies, mm. like three, four. Mm -hmm. Then 2019, had a successful one, yeah. and then gave birth to our first son, our firstborn, mm -hmm. um, in 2020, mm -hmm. 13th of March. Yeah. Um, then after that, COVID came because he was born during COVID. Yeah. So COVID came, uh, raising a child during the COVID season, just mm -hmm. myself, him and my mom-in-law. Yeah. No one is allowed to come to see the child and yeah. all of that. So also how um, involved he was mm. with the raising the child as well. He was proper, a good partner in that. Yeah. He was my support system. And then from there, 2021, mm -hmm. I was pregnant again yeah. and I gave birth now in December of 2021. Mm -hmm. I remember during that pregnancy was one of the toughest because I got COVID yeah. and the guy was just trying to take care of his family himself. He got COVID as well. Mm. I did have COVID. Our son was doing well. They said it wasn't so tough on children. Yeah. He got his share but not as much as I did because I was pregnant. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember him having to call the OB every mm. single day yeah. to give him my oxygen measurements and yeah. all that. He was really He was the doctor in the house. Mm. Um, from the, um, yeah, now December give birth of 2021 and then actually we started our content creation in 2017 when we just, um, turned one year mm -hmm. of marriage. I said, you know, let's just share our first year experience yeah. of being married. And that's how we stumbled upon, you know, creating content. He yeah. never understood why people share their lives online. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, 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 I don't want to do this. So I started as a hair staff. Yeah. But he came on and then started having conversations on marriage and relationships. Yeah. Then <clears throat> fast forward. 20, uh, 2022, mm -hmm. we said a lot of speaking engagements um, just in our own relationships and marriage yeah. together. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the most rewarding thing to work with my husband yeah. to do these things together mm -hmm. <clears throat> and just sharing our experience with relationships yeah. and what we have seen and also just dating for myself when I was in campus, yeah. how it was like. Mm -hmm. And then now 2020 is here yeah. and can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for us. Yeah. So yeah, 
much, Paula. That is such a beautiful love saying. Thank you. All right. Hey, friends. I trust you are well. Welcome to another episode of A Love Letter brought to you exclusively here on the SNS. Prior to beginning, we'd like to express our gratitude to Longonot Place for providing us with their service apartments as a shoot location. For more information, feel free to check the description box down below. What personality trait would do you not wish to pass down to your kids? What personality traits would I wish? Trait. To, trait, trait. Oh, like one thing. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. I think sometimes I overthink. Okay. You heard what I did there. Yeah. <laughs> so, you think you overthink. Yeah, I think okay. I overthink. <laughs> if I can have a way of not passing that down, mm -hmm. it's good to think, mm -hmm. but not overthink. All right. Yeah. That's nice. So, what do you wish <laughs> I understood more about you? It feels like they've been eavesdropping on some of our issues lately. <laughs> Why? What do you wish I understood more about you? Mm, more about me. Mm -hmm. um, I wish you could read my mind mm -hmm. sometimes mm. without me speaking up. Or speaking, I know it's unfair man, mm -hmm. for me to tell you to read my mind, mm -hmm. um, but I just wish you could read sometimes between the lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I think we'll start by looking for those lines first. <laughs> and then see where, so to, that read. I see where to read between <laughs> them. That's an impossible task, but yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What did you enjoy doing as a kid mm -hmm. that is no longer part of your life? Ah, going fishing. Of course, Mitaro. Hey, we used to go to <laughs> those, because I grew up in Island. Yes. Buru, yeah. uh, Uhuru, Jericho. Mm -hmm. So we'd gather up with my friends and then we set to end up fishing. Yeah. And then we go to those Mitaros mm -hmm. and then we look for tadpoles. We catch them. What has stopped you? You know you, you can know, still do that. Ah, now we have more important things to, to do. do it like we have bills yeah so, i think for me it's yeah. climbing trees yeah and and just like a being carefree well that explains it what yeah you you, you have you have falling <laughs> scars on your knees yes i did yeah. a lot of that Panda meat. Uh -huh. next question so mm -hmm. <laughs> <Are you> <laughs> i don't like that you're loving show me Mm. Your best impression oh. of me. That's the worst question. <laughs> I am so poor. Aki, what? Show me your best impression of me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. We I are not know. passing this question. We have to pass because I don't know passing. how to do <laughs> I'm not an actor. Do it, do it in your mind. That's a which mm -hmm. one? Your best impression of me. <laughs> Probably mm. this is a scenario. Mm. Um, this is a scene, sitting the scene. Curtis, you're doing your masters. Mm -hmm. You're on the laptop, mm -hmm. and then me, I'm just next to you. Mm -hmm. I'm probably on social media or YouTube. Mm. And then I don't have my earphones. And then I play something loudly, <laughs> like a video. This is you. Do you wanna get earphones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best that I can do. Can I do one but, of yours? Yes. So, so I'm Soila, uh -huh. okay, your card is, yeah. okay, uh, so let's assume, pick this card, okay. let's assume this is your phone, you're on your phone, yeah. okay, your card is, you're on your phone, mm -hmm. I'm Soila, I'm on my phone, <laughs> so we're on our phones, we're on our phones, and then I realize, ah, my charge is at 10%, mm -hmm. let me go charge, so I go charge my phone, and I come back, babe, you're always on your phone, <laughs> We are going to be a phone-free yeah. house. So you, you only notice I'm on my phone <laughs> when, when your I'm charge is out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What do you consider my greatest attribute? Uh -huh. What about my greatest weakness? I think your greatest attribute is that you're a good judge of character. Mm -hmm. So many times we are about to get into a deal or meet someone and you're like, mm. 
babe wa chana na hiyo kitu <laughs> then of course i'll throw a fit because i'll be i've already yeah. thought this thing too i've seen yeah. how it's going to work out but i've been enough i've been through enough experiences to know that when you say that where they smoke I mean, there's fire there's fire yes. so i've always found that you are very consistent when it comes to being a good judge of character okay your weakness mm-hmm. is that you worry too much between me and you who worries too much i overthink that's that's part of worry no 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 no, no. it is the difference between overthinking and worrying mm-hmm. overthinking is just thinking overly <laughs> <laughs> thinking past the thought <laughs> worrying tends to have yeah. a hopelessness to it okay so well, you, I, I've, i'm doing better i don't think i become hopeless you are anymore. doing better but sometimes sometimes you can really mm. be very discouraged because of worrying too much yeah, yeah. I'd, i'd want to answer this for you too mm-hmm. i think your greatest attribute would be present mm-hmm and involved mm-hmm. i think even in just in our lives in our marriage in our parenting journey you are a present human being mm. like you're part of us mm. man I, i don't see you as an outsider you are literally one of us mm. you want to cry sir <laughs> no okay <laughs> no i'm crying here okay yeah, you know real men cry internally yeah so our greatest weakness uh-huh. you I, i don't say overcompensate but you can take things so you take things so seriously man uh-huh. yeah i i don't think it's a weakness but you you not when it comes to sometimes work you don't have an easy going feel to things you're very serious about that mm-hmm. i would i don't know if it's a weakness though maybe balance is needed balance is needed yeah, yeah balance is needed Whereby a little play is not bad, mm. you know. Don't just take it too seriously. Now that's it. You take things too seriously. When it flops, you are hurt from head to the toe. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Noted. How do you feel like we balance? Sorry, let me do that again. Do you feel like we balance our time well between our parents? What's wrong with me? Let me do that again. <laughs> Do you one, feel one, 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 let, me, let me t- let me let me see tea. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you feel like we balance our time well between your parents and mine? Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. I think one again because the dynamics of your mom mm. is a bit different because she's not always around, mm. but when she's around at least we try and be available. Yeah. For me it's it's such a social life mm. but at least now we've, we've made when we got married mm. man it was more of my parents side yeah. you were always in narog mm. but now there's a sweet balance i think when mm. children came on board yeah. it's just a lot of th- it's, it's a lot goes into thinking about where are we going where are we going how long are we going and all that mm. yeah i think what i would say to this is <clears throat> we've been really blessed to have parents who are really good mm-hmm. and they don't side mm-hmm. Like your parents don't side with you and my parents yeah. don't side. In fact, you remember when I used to feel like I'm short changed because when we got married, you became closer to my mom. Yeah. And I was like what the heck is going on yeah, here? Yeah, like you know, wait. <laughs> you became the daughter she never had. Yeah. So I think I think there's good balance there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Next. Oh, for me. Oh. What's one positive change that our marriage has had on you? apart from going fat uh have i though yeah you pick some glowing yeah <laughs> around that <laughs> what positive thing has change w- or has our marriage had, had on, on you. me yeah i think i think i've learned to be more responsible yes true yeah than we were when we started mm. yeah like when you are you remember ilikuwa tukipata do kuchafua tumia pesa ikuzoe you know you would spend money the first month you know, <laughs> like look at each other salary yote imeisha by by date 10 and then we are mad each other for the rest of the 20 days because yeah. we didn't stop each other from spending yeah. 
but mm-hmm. nowadays we really calculate you yeah. know we try our best to just have a budget mm-hmm. and be responsible especially mm-hmm. with kids yes. eh? oh yeah you don't just make some decisions like you are on your in own the air. Mm-hmm. so i think i've grown in terms of being responsible mm. especially when it comes to money matters okay mm-hmm. i think for me mm-hmm. what's the one positive change that our marriage has had on you mm. he has made me very selfless mm. yeah yeah you want to expand on I that? I could be very selfish. Mm-hmm. For example? Me, 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 me. What mm-hmm. is it benefiting me? Mm-hmm. You know, Give us one a context. Me. Uh, no, Curtis. <laughs> 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 you're picking. You're, you're, you're digging, eh? <laughs> What's... Ooh. There's no passing this one. <laughs> there is no passing this one. Okay? Uh-huh. What is your favorite? You see, I'm even adjusting my shirt. <laughs> So that you get a view. What's... What is your favorite part of my body? <laughs> hmm? uh... This whole body. A lot, sir. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Pick one part. No safe answer. <laughs> Kuna... Kuna... No, no. There's no being safe. Ah, yeah. Your shoulders. My shoulders. Yes. Tell me more. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we choking? <laughs> Your shoulders, uh-huh. yes, they can carry all of us. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you like how I carry you in prayers. In prayers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can't. You know, uh-huh. internet has uh, footprints. Uh, <laughs> Ten years okay. down the line. It's okay, it's okay. This is, this is, not, this is not incriminating. Yeah. yeah. For me, your favorite part... You have to part, answer. Of course. <laughs> your favorite part of my body. Ah, uh, Wait. What, is... what did I say? <laughs> you see, I'm even thinking of you as one. You're one with me. Your favorite... No, my favorite part, part of, my of body. your body. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. I'm thinking of all the possible people who would watch this video. Hey, answer wisely. <laughs> but, of mm-hmm. course, your entire body. Mm-hmm. I just love your body as is. But... But I really like your face. But oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. I really like your face. Okay. Ex- yeah. mm-hmm. Except nice. when you're mad and, and yeah. you're pulling it from here to the end. <laughs> but I really like your face. Oh. I think it's a very friendly face. Wow. It's a face I like seeing in the morning. Mm-hmm. You know, you are very animated. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> and I really like that. Oh. Yeah. Now you make me feel like I also want to say your face. Uh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, I know. Can we both of us answer at the same time this one? Mm-hmm. What's a song that reminds you of yeah. our relationship? Okay, why well, yeah. together? We try. I, if I, we'll I, be together, I, I, we'll I, win I, this. I, I, okay, one. One, two, two three. three. Wise men say only fools rush Falling in love with you. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that's a nice one. Quisha. We should find another song. We should find no. You know that song is very sentimental. It, it is. comes from somewhere. Yeah. So it yeah. is there to stay. Yeah. I think even when our kids are getting married, they'll play that this song. This is the song for your wedding. You are not playing another song. <laughs> should tell so. Tell him more there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Time is coming. Uh-huh. Oh, it's me now. Yeah. Why do I feel like okay? Is there anything in our relationship that scares you? In our relationship that scares me? Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have been thinking about, not lately, mm-hmm. I don't want you to leave me. Like I'm thinking about now, really? later in life, yeah. like we should die together. Oh, you're talking about that? Yeah. I, now I know you not leave me, surely. Oh. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering. It's your fear. It's no, not mine. I wouldn't, yes. Uh-huh. I'd want us to die together. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, old age, you know. You old age, yes. And well, no, you have to Very live important. our lives to the fullest, man. Sour. I think that's the one thing that scares me. That's a. That's that a, one, uh, and let me say two. Mm. Um, and the second one, <coughs> I may not be able to meet some of your needs or all of your needs sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I feel inadequate. You know, I, I think that just so many responsibilities on the table. I'm like, mm. I don't know if I'm still as present and available for my husband as I should be. Mm. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
will uh, will revisit <laughs> <laughs> so uh-huh. for me is there anything in our relationship that scares me i would say we have very big ambitions mm-hmm. we have very big ambitions very big desires and plans and sometimes what scares me is not being able to attain them yeah you know like are they too big for us are we is this a <coughs> pipe dream too big. you know yeah so yeah, yeah i'm like what the vision god has given me versus you know what it takes to get mm-hmm. there sometimes mm-hmm. i'm like do we are we worth the salt yeah you know so i would say that is uh, I wouldn't say scare, maybe scare is a strong word. Yeah. But it it's something that occupies my mind. Okay. It's a nice one. Yeah. Okay. Next. Oh, it's me. Mm-hmm. You have to give me your questions because I finished before you. <laughs> so. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Are mm-hmm. you ready? Has All your people. parents relationships has your parents relationship mm-hmm. affected our marriage? If so, how? <clears throat> I don't think it has. Mm. And if it has our re- our parents relationship with that your mom's uh-huh. relationship has it affected oh. your marriage? If so how? <coughs> I can start? I don't think so. Okay. If it has it's not it's not conscious. It's not something that it's on my face and I'm like, yeah, I see this thing and I see it. Mm. So I don't think it's I don't think it's something that is obvious. Okay. Yeah, for me to pick up on. I think for me the way yeah. it has affected my marriage is to be more sensitive to you mm-hmm. and the needs of the marriage itself because mm-hmm. the marriage that's a living organism in itself. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't want to neglect you mm-hmm. <coughs> or, you know, mm, not being fair. I just want to be present and be able to yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. right, right, looking at me like that. I'm listening to you. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm uh, trying to listen to what you are not saying. Yeah, I, read I hear the what lines, you're saying, sir. but I'm trying to listen to what you are not saying. <laughs> yeah. How well do you think we handle conflict in our relationship? We are doing well, sir. We've come from We've far. We've come from far. You want to tell the people what you used to do? I used to cry. Mm-hmm. I used to be the victim, mm-hmm. you know, and I'll never take responsibility for mm-hmm. whatever wrong that I have done. Mm-hmm. I thought you were always pointing fingers, but now. Mm. I'm such a mature woman I'm like sir mm-hmm. I'm sorry mm-hmm. I'm sorry I did that and 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 now I work to be a better person a better wife Yeah that's mm. true That's true I co-sign Yeah you too How do you think mm-hmm. I handle conflict Babe we need to talk <laughs> Is that a good thing <laughs> No it's a scary thing <laughs> <laughs> But we need to talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm more receptive. <clears throat> I like that you confront. Mm-hmm. I'm not a confrontational person. Yeah. But even how you go about it nowadays mm. is very careful. It's just like, eh. Do you think I used to be rough? Oh my, you were rough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I didn't like it. I didn't like the babe let's talk. Mm-hmm. But now you do it more more lovingly. Yeah. Mm. I think what made me change is of course I would be strict. Mm-hmm. And then you'd shut down. Yeah, of course. And then I'll have a conversation with myself for one hour because mm-hmm. you are not responsive. Mm-hmm. So I was like, no, this is not helpful. Yeah. So I had to find a way to manipulate you. Yeah. You oh. know, you can manipulate someone positively. Okay. So I had to find a way to positively manipulate you. It worked. To be receptive <laughs> to handling conflict. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's where I took my fika. My last question. If you could change one thing about the way you were raised, mm. oh, what would it be and why? Ah, one thing about the way I was raised. I think <coughs> I, I I wow, that's a lot to think about. Can I? Can I help you? You can go first, eh? with all the negatives and mm-hmm. the positives that i experienced as a child mm-hmm. um i don't think i would change anything mm-hmm. because it has made me who i am mm. you know i like that angle. yeah i don't think i would want to change anything i know some 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 patches are very rough and very ugly mm-hmm. 
but I don't think I would have changed anything because they all contributed yeah. to making who I am today. Yeah. So they tried their best as parents and and also God, you know, played a part. Mm. There are many areas that they were not able to and God came through and here I am now. So I am who I am because some aspects of how I was raised. Mm. The ugly, the beautiful, and the good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'll change anything. For me, I, I would answer it in two ways. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm glad you went before me because mm -hmm. you've just given me perspective. Mm. Sometimes we have what ifs because we think if only I was raised in this way, mm -hmm. it would have been better. But that means you would have been a different person. Yes. Because you are a combination of everything that you have been through, mm -hmm. good or bad. You know, and how the Bible says that he makes everything beautiful in its own time. time yes. Everything includes the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. So you are beautiful because of the good and the bad yes. that you've gone through. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, I think I would also say, as a matter of conversation, probably there are things I think would have been good. Mm -hmm. You know, like probably... I would have wanted some toys that I didn't get. Yes. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, they are, I remember we used to go visit some family friend and then I would steal toys, <laughs> steal a lot of his toys and then come back home with them because we come from very humble beginnings. Yeah. So there are things my mom couldn't buy. Yeah. So I would go visit a family friend. Come with them. Go for it. So I probably see. if I had more toys, you know, if, or if I had more opportunities. Yeah. But you see, that's a what if. Yeah. The reality of the matter is that I am who I am because of the things I've gone through. So, like what you said, I don't think I would change mm -hmm. because that's why I am Curtis. Yes, Curtis. Yeah. That's why I'm Curtis. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. Your question is next. Oh, it's me who's next. <coughs> yeah. I get to have the final say. When you remember, when you remember who I was on our wedding day. How have I changed since then? <laughs> Sir, have you? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Uh, on our wedding day, mm -hmm. I think, have you? Apart from the added fatty portions, mm -hmm. you have become more, you are more of my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have seen a more responsible side of you. Mm -hmm. One, because when the kids came, and then now uh, we are trying to grow a business together. I have seen a responsible side of you mm -hmm. that was not there when we were, you, w you were very carefree in, in our, on our wedding day and then the first few months of our marriage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you have become responsible. And I mean, man. So I grew up in short. You grew up. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't doubt that. Yeah. For me, mm -hmm. you've become bolder. Mm -hmm. When you got married, you are Bo this. Bla. Which one? Uh, no, like character wise. Oh. <laughs> of course, Kunayo. <laughs> but character wise, you used to be very timid. Mm -hmm. I know? was? You used to be. No, you you are outspoken. Mm -hmm. You are an extrovert by nature. But when it comes to matters of your capabilities. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't believe. You never you used to think very small of yourself. That's true. So nowadays, I like the fact that you are bold. You know, you embrace the good parts about you. You know, you are not afraid to take challenges. There's still a part of you that is like, hey, babe, can I really do it? But you're better than you used to be. Yeah. And I love that. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Da -da 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 <coughs> <coughs> what are some of the things you miss about being single? What are some of the <laughs> things I miss about being single? <laughs> yeah. Nani move? Ay, cut, cut me out. I thought you loved being on this other side of the no, fence. You know, you can miss something, but <gasps> not want it. Uh -huh. You know, I can miss something, but not necessarily want it. I yeah. just missed what it used to make me feel. Yeah. I missed the fact mm -hmm. that I could go to bed whenever time I want. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And I will not be in trouble. Yeah. I will not be in told you are keeping me here in bed alone. <laughs> it's cold in this big bed. You know. So there's that one. Uh -huh. Let me give another one then you'll give. I like the fact that I had one towel for everything. <laughs> towel ilikuwa ya uso, na ya migu, na ya mkono, na ya mwili. And nobody was on my shoulder telling me, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you I'm good, Disha. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so those things, I, th I think, I think, okay, I, I think I just missed 
being mannerless. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Like, <laughs> like I would do what I want and nobody is there to correct me and tell me yeah. where yeah. have some etiquette there, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. I miss mm -hmm. being very uh, random mm -hmm. without having, you know, to tell people, oh, you know, oh, you know, all that, you know, I would easily go to different places. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I'd also miss the same with you. Mm -hmm. You know how much I love my sleep, mm -hmm. uninterrupted sleep. Mm -hmm. Like no children crying. If some interruptions are nice. Mm -hmm. Not those ones you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about children, Curtis. Uh -huh. <laughs> children cry, you know, they have to wake up, change diaper, mm -hmm. and then they have to wake up very early in the morning, mm -hmm. and then mommy, 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 I think those are the things that are... And again, sometimes when you're responsible for just yourself, mm -hmm. you know, you're not as... You don't have to think about someone so else. Many, yeah, yeah, many things, you know, in terms of... When you of have your money, you don't have to think, okay, he, okay, he, he how, will, money, okay, how will it... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but when you're just your, yourself, like, I can sleep hungry today. Mm. Now you have to have a whole timetable, breakfast, snacks, lunch, mm. dinner. Yeah. My goodness, it's just so mm. much. Question. Yeah. Mm. Why do you feel like you... Okay, you said you miss going places without having to say. Yeah. Is, is, do you feel like it's a hindrance that you have to oh, say? No, 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 uh -huh. no. I meant, like, mm -hmm. you see how I used to spend my money carelessly yeah. without, like, I'd easily say, you know, today I'm going to oh. buy a makeup kit that is yeah. irresponsibly, you know, just Sad. expensive. So and going to different you, food. Uh -huh. Would money solve that problem? Not really. So it's not I'm, I'm more, no, I'm very mature. It's uh -huh. not, yeah, money will not solve that problem. So sure. if you are given money and you can go wherever you want no. without feeling... Oh, no, 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 it uh -huh. wouldn't, yes. What would solve it? Intelligence. Okay. And doing it to the people that I love now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you feel like you're not intelligent enough to. I can give you a mal. Sawa, it's a wrap. You have been a godsend individual to our lives, to my life specifically, and I have seen the favor. I know they say is who the Bible says he who gets a wife finds favor. Yeah. Favor. Obtains favor with the Lord. I have actually obtained favor. But I'm not a wife. I, come on now. Okay. <laughs> Get this. You are spoiling my flow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm saying mm -hmm. it says that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you as a husband as well has brought me favor for sure. And I don't think, honestly, I have thought of my life if I never had met you. And I think it's, it's, you have marinated, you have spiced up, you mm. have added, <laughs> you have added amazing ingredients into my life. You've made it more fun, more exciting. You've made me a bit more responsible, not a bit more, you've made me very responsible. I like how you call me out uh, in the areas that I'm slacking. I like how you supported me as a mother. I like how you supported me as a businesswoman. I like how you supported me even as a person who's growing in God as a woman and a, a daughter, you know, a daughter and a friend. I appreciate you and I really, really pray that you live for so long that I get to see how it would be like when we have our grandchildren. <laughs> I want to see you as a granddad and how you will behave because you're such a responsible dad right now. Um, I also want to see the impact that you'll have on our children as they grow up. Because even seeing your life, not really having a dad in your life, and how you've turned out, it's, it's crazy amazing. And again, seeing your life, not having, you know, not probably being in, should I say this? No, I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't say it because of family. But anyway, you have turned out to be much more than people who've come from very big families you have turned out to be a very responsible present involved and intentional man <clears throat> and i'm so glad to do life with you you are my friend first before you're my husband and you're still my friend first even ukini kasirisha i just think about <laughs> i just think about the friendship that i'm missing out you know how you have a passing joke and you have not, no one to share it with if you're pissed off at each other and then it's the one thing that will make you reconcile so that you can share the joke. Like you're that to me. 
and I'm really happy to be in your life and to do this thing. We've been married almost eight years now and it feels like we're just in our first year with so many other responsibilities. Like the children just came, but I really, really am excited for the adventure ahead. That's my love letter to you. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm very touched. You are? Yeah. Why is it here? Uh, that's the thing. I know, I know that people were expecting tears. I can repeat again. Probably the but tears will come now. I'm very touched, okay. by the way. I'm very <laughs> touched. Uh, the other thing you've mentioned is that I marinate you. And you know when you marinate meat, the next thing is to, Aki Jimmy. Is to eat <laughs> the meat. So <laughs> we'll make arrangements. For... You know Ramani will watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but thank you for that. Those are very encouraging words. I really don't take them for granted. And it makes me want to be more of those things you've said. You know. Yeah, so thank you for that. So it's my turn now. Mm-hmm. Okay. You wrote me a letter. Yes, we are serious people. Hmm? We do our homework. Can I have tissue, please, director? I'm kidding. <laughs> it's how all of you are. <laughs> Aya, ah, yeah, you're ready. You actually <coughs> did write a letter. Mm. I don't want, I need tissue, guys. I'm serious now. Yeah. <laughs> you wrote me a letter. I know his letters, because he always writes me letters. Does it have a smiley face okay, at the end? I will put. <laughs> New clothes. I need makeup remover, because. <laughs> <laughs> so you are now creating expectations that are not. They better match up, sir. That are not necessary. You want to stay for a minute later? I need a thick and better easy. So this is my love letter to you. Not very different from the ones I've written before. But hopefully it will have the impact intended. (laughs) I will live in your eyes, die in your laps, and be buried in your heart. Said Benedict to Beatrice in the famous Shakespeare play, much ado about nothing. I want to assure you that I do not share these sentiments at all. Instead, I want to see the world through your kind eyes, Mm. find comfort in your soft laps, and enjoy the warmth of your loving heart. When I first laid my eyes on you, you are just but a spectacle to briefly behold. It did not occur to me that in one year, I will be enjoying a stroll with you by the park. That in two years, I'll be planning a future with you. That in three years, I'll be, you'll be helping me set up my first art exhibition. <laughs> that in four years, I'll be meeting your parents to ask for your hand. That in five years, I'll be walking down the aisle with you. That in six years, you'll stick to me despite being dead broke. That in seven years, we'll be crying together after multiple miscarriages. That in eight years, we'll be crossing our fingers that we don't lose the next one. That in nine years, we'll be crying at the labor room as we welcome our beloved first boy, baby child. That in 10 years, we'll be laughing at ourselves for being crazy enough and out of our minds to have two babies under two. That in 11 years, we'll be doing doing Bible study together as we prepare for a series of speaking engagements about marriage. That in 12 years, we'll be talking about school fees and where to take our kids to school. That in 13 years, I'll be sitting on SNS reading out this poem to you. Perhaps Shakespeare was right. I have seen life in your eyes. My anxieties have died in your laps. And my mistakes have been forever buried and covered in your heart. That is my love letter to you. (laughs) That's so lovely. I tried. You did. That should be printed on our wall. It should, eh? 13 years. 13 years. Today's the 13th. There's something about that 13th thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. We, talk, we mentioned it. We mentioned it. Yeah. Might be our magic number. Yeah. yeah. You know, 13 is an evil number somewhere in the world. Where? They say so, I don't know. <laughs> but it will not be evil for us. But I really love yeah. you. Mm-hmm. As we said during our wedding day, for better, for bliss, mm-hmm. in wealth and contentment, contentment. Yeah. in health and, in and vitality. vitality. Yeah. I still do take you, yeah. man. Yeah. So how's your heart? Uh, as of this moment, mm-hmm. I think this activity was very refreshing. Yeah. 
I feel like I've loved you afresh. Hey. I hadn't stopped, mm. but I just feel like <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I'm really happy that we did this. Yeah. And hopefully as we go home, yeah, you know again, today mm. being 13 <laughs> probably it will just Did start something yeah, new. new. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, my heart is lighter for mm-hmm. sure. My heart is lighter. Um, even in approaching some <coughs> of the current challenges, mm-hmm. with you, is nothing to hey, ina kitu, mm-hmm. kitu, you mm-hmm. know. With you, it's a bit easier. So I feel actually lighter. It felt therapeutic. Mm. Should do this more often. More often. Stephanie, can we go with these cards home? <laughs> So you can follow our social media accounts. Mm-hmm. Soila and Curtis. Mm-hmm. Soila Curtis. 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 Jay Wamalwa. Jay Wamalwa. Mm-hmm. So we have three social media Instagrams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, so Kunayake, Soila Wamalwa. Yes. Yeah, Soila Wamalwa. Then there's mine, Curtis J Wamalwa. And then there's a joint account. Soila and Curtis. Where we share a lot of our marriage engagements yeah. and some of the things that we do. Mm-hmm. That's on Soila and Curtis. Mm-hmm. And then obviously we have YouTube. That's where we have this some of these wholesome conversations. Yeah. And you'll also get to meet a good number of our friends because mm-hmm. we tend to do our content a lot with friends as mm. well. Yeah. So and most then importantly, cut it on YouTube as yes, well. YouTube. Yes, YouTube. I just said YouTube. Okay. Okay. But you can say YouTube. Okay. Yeah, YouTube. You, know, you know, they usually say that when a woman asks for your advice, mm. you know, they just want their advice in a deeper voice. So, so I know, yeah, you just wanted YouTube in a... <laughs> anyway, I'm pulling your leg. And finally, finally, www.soilaandcartis.com. Yes, that's our website. So if you want to check our calendar of events, you can go jump in there, see what we've planned. Uh, right now, you may not find something because we upload them as they come quarterly. Quarterly. So mm-hmm. we also have a fantastic blog going on there mm-hmm. where we just write different experiences that we have on marriage. Most of them have a comical angle to it. So go there and have a good laugh. And finally, there's yeah. a podcast as well. Yeah. That is not on YouTube. That is just on our website. Yeah. 13, 10 minutes maximum. Yeah, 13 again. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's how. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. fun stuff that yeah. you never get to share on any other platform. Yeah. But that's how you can support us. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. It's a wrap. It was a whole show.